what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel today we're going to go over how to get 10 ancient puzzle rings inside of diablo 3 and how many materials that you're going to get from doing all 10 ancient puzzle rings so let's get right into it guys as if you don't already know the season 27 uh theme is the angelic crucibles that we have here and what the angelic crucibles do is it takes an item a gear weapon and makes it a primal ancient which completely decks the thing out like you see here with the yang's recurve but a real trick that we tried to explain in another video guys i'm gonna link that above about how to get unlimited puzzle ring or ancient puzzle rings uh i i should have clarified i put a, a clarification on that video but i wanted to explain it more in detail in this one for you so you have to have a level 70 item for angelical crucible to work so a strategy that we talked about in the previous video was to get more ancient puzzle rings really fast so what you could do is you could create a level 31 witch doctor when you get your blood shards you go roll at kadala and kadala gives you a one in three chance when you get a legendary item or a legendary ring that it is a puzzle ring so i had a lot of people in the comments ask me about it and it's like no this doesn't work because they're level 31 rings they're not level 70. So to clarify, for Angelic Crucible, this little trick to work, you have to have level 70 puzzle rings, okay? Then when we use the Angelic Crucibles on them, it's gonna make them ancient puzzle rings. So that is the whole trick. So make sure when you get your puzzle rings, guys, save them all. Save them all because we all know that ancient puzzle rings, those vaults are better than regular puzzle rings, okay? So for today's video, we're gonna do all 10 ancient puzzle rings and we are going to show you how many mats, resources, gems, all the goodies that you get from doing 10 ancient puzzle rings in season 27. Now, a few things that we need before going in and starting this, okay? So before we make these all ancient, you're going to need a build, a T16 build, whichever one is your fastest per se, whichever one is just really fun that you like to use, okay? But the main thing that you're going to want is to have the boon or the hoarder sorry guys got a bug in my face the boon of the hoarder for more gold that's the big thing okay i have all my mats written down here that we're gonna have we got what two trillion nine hundred ninety eight kajillion by nine hundred eighty two quazillion and three hundred and thirty three nuggets left over after that okay so we got boon of the hoarder that's the main one that you're gonna need two you're going to need to put a flawless royal emerald in your helmet. Why? Because it's going to give you 41% extra gold. Okay, so that's the second thing. So get a T16 build, get your Boon of the Hoarder, get your ancient emerald in your helmet for just more gold because you're going to get so much gold, it's going to be crazy. You're going to be like Dr. Evil, okay? So next after that, and this is the most important, on your follower... You're going to need a couple items, okay? First and foremost, the most important item, you're going to need a broken crown. Whenever a gem drops, a gem of the type socketed into my helmet drops, which is going to be an emerald. Now, if you don't want the extra gold bonus and you're playing a different class, put whatever gem in your helmet that you want to get gems for. So if you're playing like a barbarian and a crusader, put strength in. If you're playing wizard necro put uh what is it the put the uh topaz in for intelligence um those are the only three that are really viable if you want to put a royal flawless royal gem in you can for just your other set pieces and your armor and stuff to gear those up uh i, I never see a point to doing amethyst nobody really ever uses this so if you want to use a gem based on your class if you want more classes so that way you can augment your gear i'm going with emerald not only for gold but i need emeralds to augment my dex characters so that's the big thing broken crown in your follower now on top of that you are going to get a lot of other mats guys you're going to get all of your crafting mats so if you're going to be getting crafting mats you might as well have your sages full set for double death's breaths Okay, you don't need the, the Canes full set for uh, Greater Rift Keys, but you definitely need the Sages set for double Death's Breaths. Okay, you can do this one way. You can wear all three pieces if you want, um, or you can do two and put the Royal in there. I actually need to swap one of these out, actually. I need to do that. Um, but you definitely need all three 
sages for double death breaths because you're going to get a bunch of those in these vaults okay so get the sages set get the broken crown get whatever gem you want in here if you want extra gold go with emerald or go with every class specific gem that you need and then we are going to need 10 puzzle rings and 10 angelic crucibles so let's get over here next to kanai's cube let's go ahead and angelic crucible these bad boys we're going to do all 10 again we have all of our resources written down so that way the before and after resources will be down in the description for you guys so as you can see now there's sanctified rings and it's going to open ancient vaults so let's get it let's go all right that is all 10. so to use these if you guys don't know you just right click them in like you would any other puzzle ring and then transmute that's it let the ancient vaults begin let's go okay get something that just just destroys everything so we'll come back for a lot of this stuff but we're just gonna kill everything first okay now the last thing when it comes to these if you guys want to do greed you absolutely can if you want to avoid them because of the animation and you know the extra 30 seconds it takes i don't think we're not really in a speed run to do this but if you want to skip greed you can he only drops like four or five items but you do have a chance for another puzzle ring and or sanctified crucibles so oh now we do have to know that we have not gotten one puzzle ring back not one god dang it it's a lot look at the gems now even about to be halfway through if you wanted to change the gem ups because you're playing multiple classes like we're doing you could change your your helm but because dh is the main one that i'm doing now and i have two full sets that i need to augment i need emeralds bad bad okay hey gabos hey we got a big boy am i lagging oh we almost lost some goblins my multi-shot wasn't popping angel vault number five there we go kill all these things there we go that's what we want that's what I want to see. Kill all your... Ooh, Matt's Goblin. I like that. I like to see that one. That's the one I like to see. That and the gem one. Sorry, Green. That's a tough cookie right there, man. Give me that. Alright, we have a chance for one puzzle ring back. That is all 10 ancient puzzle rings we just finished the last of them so let's go over everything that we got for using the strategy which is using the angelic crucible on a puzzle ring at level 70 which makes it an ancient puzzle ring and we just did 10 so let's go over the results so as far as returns you hope to get better returns guys you hope that you get some puzzle rings back in ancient crucibles we were only able to get four out of ten ancient puzzle ring vaults and zero puzzle rings back so if you're doing this i hope the drop rates are better for you but that's what we got into the gems 10 ancient puzzle rings 10 ancient vaults look at the number of gems that we got so it looks like on average you're getting around a hundred of the marquee and you're getting a hundred maybe a little more on the imperials now the reason that our emeralds are so much higher than the rest is because we have an emerald in our helmet with our follower that has the broken crown so every time one of these dropped we got an emerald so we did 10 these numbers are insane for just gems so if you want to split it up I would advise splitting this up however you need, but I would definitely recommend doing the gem in your helm for whatever class that you're playing. Okay, so as far as number numbers go on our mats, let's take a look. For gold, we started at 2.9 trillion. So we gained five trillion gold, which is insane. Now let's go to our crafting stuff. 
Reusable parts, we started at 4,500. So we gained about 500, a little over 500. Arcane dust, we had 4,633. So we gained almost, uh, what is it, 800 and something. Veiled crystals, we started at 695. Now we have 1,900 more. Death rust, we started at 3,177. So we gained, what, three or 2,400. 2,400 death rests. And Forgotten Souls, we started at 1757. So we gained 220, or no, 210 uh, Forgotten Souls and 10 Ancient Puzzle Rings. Uh, these numbers are insane, guys. We got a lot of resources from 10 Ancient Puzzle Rings. Absolutely insane. I definitely, definitely suggest saving all of your puzzle rings that you find and using the ancient crucibles on them to make sure that you get them to be ancient and then you're going to get all these materials i mean the number increase is insane with 10 if you guys hoard them save them and just go on a spree like i just did we still have this one we found ancient but we still got three more you know we got four more ancients here which is still a lot of gems i mean we had 300 and some odd of these from our helmet in five runs so guys that's it 10 ancient puzzle rings done with the angelic crucible strategy for season 27 i hope that this really helps you guys out for season 27 and encourages you to save up the puzzle rings use the angelic crucibles on them and just farm all the materials the gains are insane the gains are insane so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like as it does help me comment below how many puzzle rings you have found this season if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe all the support you guys have been giving me has been insane and if you guys are new here subscribe again as always as always though guys stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace